Hey guys, it's Robin here, also known as Fallen Hero Gaming, and this video is to appease a friend of mine. It's not actually to appease him. I actually just wanted to play this game, because he told me it was good. <laughs> Bison's here! And I'm here, hello. <laughs> um, we played some Pokemon Go recently that might go up on the channel. Um, it's probably an old news by now, but whatever. We caught a Digwit in a garage, and we found Houndooms. So that was a 10 out of 10 fun time. Um, Danganronpa. Trigger, ha trigger happy havoc. I'm probably going to upset Ty at some point in this video. Make him very, very angry with me because I pronounced something wrong or did something wrong. What do you think? What do you think the chances are? Mm, 85%. Okay, let's go. Dang it, Rampa. If you don't... Let's choose uh, Japanese. Let's just not understand the whole game. Logic. That, right? Logic. Logic difficulty, action difficulty. Let's go on kind for the first game. It's probably just normal. Here's Monokuma. I know that because he's a teddy bear and his name was in the intro. <laughs> Creepy teddy bear. Um. This is already pretty scary, Ty. If someone walks in here right now, <laughs> they're gonna be pretty afraid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> what has Ty gotten me into? Um. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. What is <laughs> goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> the music is so weird. Sounds like evil chanting. Did he just kill that guy? What? Oh! Is that, is that the first execution? <laughs> this is terrible, Ty. Beginning. <laughs> a massive high school tower is all over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. What do I press? What do I press? What do I press? Oh, right click, left click. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. I don't know who's speaking, so I'm just gonna speak normal. Hope's Peak Academy. I'm actually gonna be a robot. Cause I'm pretty sure it is a robot. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Mm. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you are you have to be. <laughs> one, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you scout, you're you scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students, was me, Jeffrey. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. I don't need to read that. It read itself. <laughs> oh, it stopped reading itself. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, uh, Sean, Sean, I'm just gonna call you not Sean. You're Gus to me. <laughs> like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, I would say psych. They'd all just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. You're a terrible person. <laughs> I don't like this guy already. Mm -hmm. Even among the average, I'm completely average. <laughs> you already pissed off Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. Yeah, I'm gonna end up hating a character he loves. I don't like this character, because... Um, well, I don't like him right now. I'll probably like him later, because something's gonna happen. But... I don't know. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figured it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat, but you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. 
I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am standing in front of anything but ordinary. Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I could feel that way. What you have to understand is, there's a giant teddy bear that expects to kill me. Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get you ready for today. <laughs> Hope's Peak invites those only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. In such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. That's weird. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads, and all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. What the heck, Ty? For example, one co incoming student is ultimate pop sensation. High school singer for a group of famous singers all over the country. And there's also an ultimate baseball star. Whoa, he broke the baseball. He literally broke the baseball. That makes sense. He was the cleanup hitter for the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes set on him. Whoa! Strobe. Mm. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Do 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 Ultimate fashionista. Ultimate fashionista. She keeps on evolving. She's been on the cover of most fashion magazines. She's what every high school person wants to be. And then there's this guy. He rides bikes. <laughs> Ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he ha he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator. What? Mm -hmm. The ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions, but still there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without a kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably, a unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently had a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. <laughs> <laughs> why was he asking all those questions? <laughs> As a result, you have been selected. Hmm. That's sad. As a result, you have been selected. Ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been best better off just declining their offer. That's his talent. He's super lucky. Yeah, seriously. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I just can't stand here in front of the gates forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter crushed in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. Amazing. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. <laughs> I don't see it. It's not there. It says 10, 7, 10. I mean, it doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a 15 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet, so I wound up... I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school, and also getting kidnapped by a teddy bear, I'm guessing. <laughs> at least that's what I was hoping for. And then I was kidnapped by a teddy bear. Whoa. Um... Uh, he's going on a trip. What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It's like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into someone else, something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. The next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to an end. 
At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to despair. Um, mm. This is creepy. That's scary. Yes? <laughs> what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what I was what was I doing sleeping here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. Well, sorry. You guys didn't see that. Mm. What the heck is going on? Do 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 doors do 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 and chairs do 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 do. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the WASD to adjust your viewpoint, or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Um, alright then. Oh, this is trippy. It's still doing the glitch. I can't do anything about it, sorry. Click on it. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of jewel I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's with that on the desk? An orientation guide. Um. It's some kind of cheap-looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be an entire world. What the bleh? Is this someone's idea of a joke? There's a clock. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really almost been an hour since then? Um. Hello. Security camera? Mono cam, it says. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep those weirdos from just wandering in. Hmm. Doors. TV. There's a TV. The, the school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. What the? Mm. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be, but it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are the metal plates over the windows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean, this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then, if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. Pressing the R key. Doors! Mm -hmm. Leave the area? Um, no. Not yet. Is there anything else? I think we investigated it all. Yeah, let's go. Boom. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. It has no textures. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is getting stranger by the second. <laughs> Sorry. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the WSD keys to move through the hallway. Hold the sh down the shift key while moving to run. Whoa. Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. Whoa. Despair Hotel. This is weird. I don't, know I I don't even know what's going on because the screen's not loading in. And then I just see a bunch of colors everywhere. There's a door here. Room 1A. The door won't budge. You'll be able to watch the video later. That's what makes it more exciting. <laughs> the door is locked tight. All the doors here are locked. Despair Hotel? 
I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. That door has Monokuma in it. The AV room, it's locked. The school store, I guess it's not open. What the? The nurse's office is off limits, it looks like. There's nothing here I can go into then. The boys' bathroom, good thing I don't have to go. Alright then. Girls' bathroom, not that it matters, but it's locked. I wonder why there's a gate here. I'm just keeping this map up the whole Not again. The gym, the handles didn't move at all. Alright, so I guess the only room we can go to. Oh, we didn't try this room. This room's open. Whoa, no, I don't want to go through. Mm. I'll go back. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey. new kid? All right. Whoa. That guy's legit. I like that guy. You guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but... Standing before we, me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces at one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura, aura coming from each of them. Well, um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Nagi. Sorry, I'm late. A bunch of other stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Whoa, you too? Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. So strange. He's the only one who gets a voice. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation, indeed. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right that's now. Oh, easy. sorry, I'm sorry. I messed <laughs> up. I'm sorry, Tyler. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. That guy's annoying. It's not he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Everyone ca just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Uh, but now it's time for freaking introductions. Maybe, but at least good to be figure out who we're all digging into the bigger problems uh here. How are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Don't say anything else. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Sounds good. I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to get focus on it. So I guess this is a good chance I'm going to get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. I'm a student. Press the left mouse button. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Toko Fukawa. Oh, Toko Fukawa, ultimate writing prodigy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was ten that got everyone talking and launched her literacy career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Peace. The book was such a hit with a woman that fishermen shot quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you like to? Would you, what? Help! I can't read. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what, with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What? It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought that was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. 
Wow, I talked about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. <laughs> Talk to this guy. I got his voice almost right. For me, I'm a ultimate fanfic creator. Oh, he's the fanfic guy. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? Well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into a legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad. Well, that's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is pretty definitely more, more remarkable. The words of the, the oh sorry the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly appreciated in my time. <laughs> I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. Sounds like Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sounds like Tyler. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nye, you would comprehend its brightness immediately. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. Do you do Undertale fanfics? What with, or sorry, what, what kind of meeting? It's about embracing our basis urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. It's kind of how I feel. Let's talk to Leon Kuwata. Yo, Leon Kuwata. What's up? Leon Kuwata, ultimate baseball star. He's cool. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. No, whoa, sorry. Ah, I, can't, I get these voices all messed up. I might need you to do some of them. You do this one, go. That's you. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nothing. I'm just surprised I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Uh, I don't know what to do for this one. Uh, Something tough. What were you expecting? Some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head. No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. What? Oh, man. You found a picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm, like, mega embarrassed right now. He's my senpai. I feel like... I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head is like, that is part of national championship regulations. Wait, seriously? But, <laughs> but now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm gonna dye it back to normally, either. I'm not, jeez. Not. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? I don't like base baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. That's yeah, you. I, yeah. I know, I couldn't do anything until the animation was over. <laughs> I can see it. Sorry. And soon, as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on a guitar, and we're all set. Animation. Uh, this <laughs> new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I like this guy. Mm -hmm. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Yeah, that guy's my favorite so far. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to talk to this guy, so I'm going to talk to this girl, because that guy was really annoying. What is she? Ultimate pop sensation. Uh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Here's my female senpai for this game. <laughs> I just chose it. The way she moves, it's possible, positively memorizing. That pleasant scent I can't quite place. It's lavender butterscotch lotion. Sayaka Maizana. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's a pop group in the country, 
has the ultimate pop sensation. She's in time demand to appear on the TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. She is a doll. She's creepy. I'm not a doll. You know, I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Huh? Huh. <laughs> Kidding? I just have really good intuition. She's the sharp one. Huh? Hey, by any chance. Now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... I don't like this guy. Mm -hmm. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Sorry, you just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. You're right. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounded like Sakaya really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. She's gonna be the first one to die. She's gonna be the first one to die! Thank you, man. She is! Because it's like, of course we can talk later. She's gonna die. I don't, I don't know. Ultimate moral compass, great. He's good at with directions or what? <laughs> Kill yourself. I, I don't know what that means. It means he's like always wants to do the right thing and do everything r the correct way. Oh. Um, Super annoying. I hate people like that. We're like, I don't know. It's annoying. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I read about or saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He is also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. <sighs> Sorry guys, kinda late, kinda tired, but still enjoying the game. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can anyway you can tell me Taka. You said your name was Mokado Nagi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. To keep it fr that from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> oh, right. Exactly. Talk to those five people. Should we talk to Tai Senpai? Yes. Tai Senpai time. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Ultimate programmer. Oh, yeah, I see. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet you. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> oh, yeah, good point, sorry. Oh, she's crying. Mm. What the heck? You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chihiro, <laughs> Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid, timid little bunny type thing going, which she, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Uh, hey, so listen. Why is she crying all the time? I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had to do with me. It didn't, yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I like this girl already. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm glad. Dot dot dot. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Mm -hmm. Let's go talk to... This guy just looks like he has a porcupine on his head. Or like lasagna. Just looks like his hair is lasagna. Let's talk to lasagna here. Okay. Oh wow, great. Ultimate biker. Is that supposed to be a good thing? Ultimate biker gang leader? Like, really? He's got the lasagna hair going for him. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of just looks like he... I don't know. It looks, it looks like he's got, like, bread for hair. <laughs> it looks like it's just a bunch of soap foam. It's Mondo... Just, like, dripping down his face. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker game in Japan. He's earned respect even awe from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Right then. Animations, please. <laughs> um, nice to meet you too. Blank, yeah. I don't like this guy. I hope he dies fast. Seriously, look yeah, at his hair now. Hair. It's like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> he has hair. <laughs> I hope he dies fast. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could 
wake up at the bottom of the sea. Alright. Let's talk to her. Hi. Hi, I'm Junko and Yeah, this she's already talking. Girl scares me. Ultimate fashionista. Alright then. I feel like this is gonna be like the helper of um what's the Monokuma? She is really creepy. I feel like it, it it makes me seem like she's the helper of the bear. Her smile, and that bunny in her hair, and the two-toned bow. Yeah, it just seems like she's evil. It does. Anybody rec recognize this one? All the stuff. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl. Oh, the country. animations is coming. I've seen her on a ton of magazine covers, but... Oh, it did. I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to blank and back with, all, like, computers and junk? Oh, oh April 4th. That's so they aren't real. Look, April 4th. <laughs> Come on, don't act so surprised. You're going to make me all depressed. Wait, what? April 4th? Why did I think April 4th was my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's, I don't even know why I said that. Okay. April 10th. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd totally be blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. They make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. Alright then. She's What's evil. your name? Kyoko Kirigiri. I better choose a new senpai, because that one's gonna die, and I can't steal Tai's senpai. I would have just stolen Tai's senpai, but... Ty has the senpai. Um, let's see what she is first. We'll decide. Ultimate question mark? Uh, yes! Yes! Perfect! Ultimate like question mark. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I didn't. I did see that there were students like me there. Those ones who didn't really have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... I like this girl. She's so mysterious. Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. And then... a age Age... Aoi Asahima? Hina. Ultimate swimming pro. I knew she was an athlete. I could just tell. Could you though? I Breaking could. Records. I thought she was like some athlete or like a gym trainer or something. Been since middle school. Or elementary. She's been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. Ultimate swimming pro. Combination of her ability, appearance, and proportions has been widely discussed online. So um, what was your name again? Totally forgot. Makoto Nayagi. Oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Use a nail. Makoto Nayagi, Makoto Nayagi. She just keeps repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm as if like she was writing something. What are you doing? I, uh, you don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you've got to write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Um... Well, I have no idea how. I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Anyway, glad to meet you. Same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. My question is, why is that guy in a skirt? <laughs> I don't know. I want to talk to him. Let's find out. Is he, like, the ultimate... Barbarian? Is that a girl? I don't know. Ultimate martial artist? I think that's a girl, which kind of scares me. <laughs> no, it is... <laughs> now I remember she's competed in sorry I didn't read that she's competed in the martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl she's the ultimate martial artist she's fought in, and she's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one <sighs> if you want it to be a girl like all you have to do it doesn't matter about the arm size you just have to make the face look like a girl <laughs> the face does not mm -hmm. yeah that thread also said a bit more about her. Some called the, call her ogre, even though she thinks. Wait, even some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now: if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, you? Huh? Yes. 
I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? Muscular quantity and quantity is right around that of the ex an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm, what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. What the? Oh, that shadow's creepy as heck. Yeah, that's a, that's a creepy shadow. It's like Medusa shadow. It looked like a creepy little girl, like, leaning out trying to look at me. Mm -hmm. Which one do we talk to? She doesn't even have a last name. I want to talk to Afro Child. <laughs> Hero? Hero Hamada? Mm -hmm. Ultimate Clairvoyant. So he's psychic. Is... This guy looks like Sean if it weren't for the hair. <laughs> he really uh, does. Uh, I don't think so. His eyes do, or his face shape does, not his eyes or his beard. Or his nose, or his mouth. No, I think everything else looks like Sean. Yes, a hero, Hakugi. Or oh, his ears, his ears are giant. <laughs> Whatever. Supernova in the psychic community, the trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really... Sorry, I'm tired, I need to yawn. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Uh, what? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. It Could it be? Oh, oh, okay. I thought I, just, I, thought I just heard a moan. And it was weird. Ah, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. 10 out of 10, he is Sean. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into a little more... Whatever that means. We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. Well, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Let's talk to... Byakuya Tomagi. Togami? Togami. Togami. I'm Tabaku Tamagami. Tamagachi. Tamagachi. Ultimate affluent prod prod progeny? Is that you mean? I don't even know what most of these words mean. <laughs> I don't know what this one means. That's the most half intro I've ever heard, but there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among ultimate students, this one is special. Pyaka Tagami. He's the heir of the, his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is ac uh, uh, it's completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. So he's like a business prodigy. Yeah. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. Mm. Wow, well, really? Jerk. This one doesn't have a last name. She's creepy. Celeste. She's speaking in, like, German accent. Ultimate Gambler. Oh, she does have a last name. Celestia Ludenhart? It's so Ludenberg. It's, it is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? Hey, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty f forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celeste Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes. Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. That's fun. She reminds me of Gothitelle. Um, they say... Yeah, same. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Yeah. I look forward to getting to know you better. It's creepy. Hehehe. <laughs> evil, I like her. That smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Okay, time to get down to business. <laughs> is that his catchphrase? This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. That's what you are, scrub. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. 
What, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? B but that's just... That's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this guy, Pie Hair. Pie Hair, man. Go away, Pie Hair. His Lasagna art... Pie. His, his mouth is beautifully drawn, along with his hair. Pie. His mouth kind of looks like his teeth are, like, slowly melting. That's like every anime character. Ever. Exactly, that's what we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and the hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Are you for real? <laughs> <laughs> Plus all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. I... Should I go? Should I do it? Mm -hmm. Ty's gonna hate me for it. <laughs> is it time to it bring time? back? Is it time, Bryson? I can't remember his name. What's his name? Leon. What? Leon, that one guy. No, 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 the one, the one kid from the Pokemon game, that sniffed a lot. Oh, oh, uh, Damien. Damien, time to bring back Damien without all the sniffing. Yeah, you're you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. Oh, that was short. Had all that conversation about it, and then it was just over. <laughs> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What's it doing here? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like you know crime or something. What like a like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hold us off, and we're not actually out of school? Come on, I don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. <laughs> Locking everyone up in a room. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a bit. Oh, so, so you they they want to do something to surprise us? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's not time for me. <laughs> I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. Ding dong, bing bong. Animation, why? Here comes my Kuma. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. This is creepy. Mm hmm Can you hear it? Yeah. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I hope the voice acting continues for this one. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, yes! Incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... And right now, please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Nice. Junko? I never realized her name is Junko. <laughs> I really like her for how evil she seems. Her? I don't know why. Yeah. The fashionista lady? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I just like the people who are evil and creepy and mysterious. What the blank was that just now? Well then, if you'll just excuse me. Hey, what, you're just gonna take off like that? Oh, yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. Man, think it was just a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was all real. Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they got it go and kill the mood? <laughs> Wait for me, I wanna go with you. That is it. Th that's that then. I will see you all there. N not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. She's all mad all the time. Thinks everyone hates her. Everyone took off the for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. This doesn't seem right. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. Maybe just staying doesn't mean we'll be safe. D besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? <laughs> I'm like this character. <laughs> if we do not move fo I'm gonna give her, like, the most manly voice. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right, but still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. 
They said to go to the gym, right? I don't want to end it. Alright, see you guys. First episode. What? What, what? what are you, why are you like? Hello, man? I don't know. <laughs> see you guys next episode.